Hello everyone, Pepper Madness back. Um, I was going to try and answer uh, a comment uh, that was that, that that was made um, in my second video, I believe, um, on the depletion of wildlife and uh, on, the, on the fast depletion of wildlife uh, in a post uh, SHTF uh, situation. But I'm going to have to make another video right after this one to answer that. Okay. So, moving along. Um, what uh, what this video is going to be about is I'm going to cover... Uh, I'm going to cover the combinations of... Uh, of, of uh, some of the combinations of hunting methods uh, that were listed. And I'll give you a few tips uh, near the end of it. Or for the last half of it. Alright guys. Here we go. Whoops, <laughs> camera work. All right, so in the last uh, three videos, we covered we covered uh, uh, hunting uh, five different hu hunting methods uh, for SHTF, uh, which were firearms, archery, trapping, hounds, and stampeding. Okay, we're gonna move along over here now. We're gonna combine these. We're 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 gonna discuss combining these methods. All right. So combining uh, your firearms with your dogs, with using your dogs, um, in regards to upland, upland, uh, upland birds such as grouse, pheasant, um, that sort of thing, and waterfowl. Okay, so most likely you're going to be using a shotgun in combination with a spaniel or a pointer. Okay. Um, some spaniels will point and then and then flush on command okay all right or you're going to be using a shotgun in combination with a retriever that more applies to uh to all you duck and goose hunters out there uh shooting from your hide and having your uh having your retriever your golden lab or black lab or whatever going out there and grabbing the grabbing the fowl out of the water and bringing them back to you in one piece. <laughs> Alrighty. Over here, um, we're still talking about uh, firearms, uh, although you can put archery in on this too, okay? Um, that uh, That's a definite, uh, that's a definite possibility. Okay, so medium to large game, including predators, okay? So, so uh, you're either gonna you're either gonna have your rifle, shotgun, or your bow or crossbow, or maybe a sling or slingshot. Uh, well, pardon me, not a slingshot for large game, but uh, yeah. All right. So uh, some su th these are just suggestions here. Okay. So uh, when you're stalking, using a pointer, using a pointer dog is a is a really 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 good uh, aid. Okay, because they can smell. They can smell, see, and hear far better than us. And they'll stop and they'll point and tell you where there's something. Okay? Sight hounds. Uh, again, I'm a little partial to the Irish wolfhound because I, I have had a few and I've used them. Um, you can be taking down pretty much any predator. I would suggest, however, if you're using, if you're using hounds to have at least two. Okay? All right, so you're taking out uh, coyotes, wolves, uh, things like that, um, or they can even be used to uh, to, to to tree a bear. Uh, they they can uh, they can without much problem kill a deer all on their own. Okay, so so in this here. Um, in this part, uh, in this part here, with the sight hounds, using them as the as the main uh, as the main tool for your game harvest, you're going to be uh, you're going to be wanting to bring along something with you, whether uh, whether it's your bow or your firearm, to administer the coup d'état, a mercy kill. Okay, and you have to be able to call your dogs. You have to be able to get your dogs back off back off the kill. Okay, scent hounds. 
of course you're going to be used for tracking uh, for tracking and treeing okay mainly predators or wounded or wounded game okay over here in the trapping uh, uh, I have uh, I have up here trapping firearms or archery okay it's not really recommended uh, or at least I don't, um, from my perspective with the dog that I have, okay? Um, not really recommended to be used in conjunction with dogs that are not completely obedient, okay, for safety reasons. Some dogs like to stick their heads into the trap to get the bait. Dead dog, all right? You don't want that, okay? A firearm or bow uh, can be used to take advantage of opportunity along the way. Mercy kills at the traps because they uh, especially leg hold traps don't always uh, don't uh, don't kill the animal okay and predator defense because along your trap line you're gonna have all these little trapped bunnies and stuff that are that are screaming or, uh, or you know giving out their distress calls and and defecating and urinating um, in fear or when they release their bowels at death and that's a, that's a pretty good scent attractor for uh, predators. Okay, moving on down. In stampeding, you would uh, you would require some sort of uh, so, so, some sort of tool to uh, to for for the final harvest of the game, or the use of uh, traps like pitfalls, stuff like that at the end. Okay, now. Um, I don't know much about this stampeding thing. I have, I have helped push. I've helped push game towards uh, um, towards another hunter, and I've been on the other end too. The guy waiting for someone else to push game down the draw towards me. Okay. So you're gonna want you're gonna want a firearm or your bow, crossbow, etc. Okay. Uh, Using scent or sight hounds for finding prey, and then using them to aid in the moving of the prey. All right. Uh, horses would also uh, horses would also be a very helpful aid. Now, horses will will also tell you when there's something around, when there's something wrong. Okay, they will stop and they will prick their ears and they will, and they will look right at, right at whatever is bothering them. Okay. All right, so moving on from there, I'm going to flip my little board over. All right, so moving on, we're going to uh, go here to uh, a few tips that I have for hunting. Again, these are... Uh, these are skills that you'll gain through experience. Uh, your stalking and um, camouflage skills, uh, scent, uh, scent camouflage, those sort of things. Th 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 those are things you'll gain through experience. So you have to get out there and do these things. All right. I'd suggest right now for doing them, uh, if you know if you've already filled all your tags or or you don't really. Uh, you don't really do a lot of hunting. Just bring a camera with you. See how close you can get. Take a picture. Okay. So here's a few here's a few tips. All right. Tips for baiting post an SHTF scenario. Okay. So the use use of mineral salts, uh, granulated and block. I prefer the granulated ones, um, especially when it's snowing, when it's snowing or wet out. Uh, if it's just really soaking wet and there's no snow or frost or anything, if you can uh, if you can hack up if you can hack the top of um, of an old stump up a little bit and uh, and put the and and put this uh, put the granulated salt on that and then beat it in with the back end of your axe and maybe get some more water on it so that it goes down into the down into the old dry wood and just and just keep repeating that a bit that that that, that way the animals will uh, uh, will have to work at getting the salt 
okay? And it'll last longer. It'll last you longer. It won't just sit on the ground and disintegrate and gone, right? Okay. Uh, blocks, uh, for right now, they would work uh, just great. Uh, most of the blocks that you, that you see out there are like blue or red or yellow, you know, sulfur salt blocks, that kind of thing. Um, in an SHTF, uh, in an SHTF situation, that might that might become a marker. You know, uh, like, like someone else will easily see it. So if you use the granulated method and put it into a stump, that 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 would be that would work really really well for you. Um, also, you can look at this salt, uh, the salt baiting stuff here as as a way of uh, as a way of conservation, um, helping animals get through the winter, so that you can. Uh, so that you can harvest uh, harvest next next year, and it and it creates it creates a nice uh, uh, easy spot uh, for you to find when when because uh, you'll know animals will be there in the winter and and early spring especially okay. All right, water. Okay, breaking a hole in the ice. Uh, especially at the edge of a of 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 a um, of a moving uh, stream or creek or even river, I guess um, that'll that'll create the sound of lapping water, and and also the uh, the animals would be attracted to its scent. Believe it or not, um, it, it's actually one of the best baits <laughs> uh, when it, when it, when it gets really cold out and there's and and ice is covering everything because they're looking for water. They they really really want the water. Even though yes they do eat snow, they prefer to drink the water. Okay. All right. Um, you can also uh, d during times of drought, and uh, I, I see my dad do this when I was a kid, and, I, and then I've used it a couple times before. What 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 we did is we took a, a plastic milk jug, I believe it was, and filled it up with water. Okay, and we hung it. We hung it off of a. We hung it off of a higher branch. Had to climb up a little bit, and and Dad poked a couple uh, a couple holes, uh, small holes in the bottom, so the water would drip. And if I remember correctly, he had it dripping, in uh, he had it dripping down into onto a large flat rock with a slight bowl in it, with a slight bowl dip in it, so that animals could come and lick it. And uh, for small game, that is awesome, awesome. You, you, you'll even get deer and the occasional bear come over to check it out. Uh, it, it, it's, I mean, like, 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 like it's the most abundant bait out there. It's water. It's the need for life, right? Okay. So, up here, bears, baiting your, baiting bears. Now, what a lot of the, what a lot of the guides and. Uh, and outfitters and and most of the hunters uh, do is they use rotten beaver carcasses. I mean, like seriously, they 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 reek. I mean, just reek. Take your clothes off off outside and put them in a bag and put them straight into the washing machine. It is gross. Okay. Uh, they use rotten beaver carcasses mixed with oats in in water. So so uh, they they let this stuff they let the stuff ferment in a barrel. For like a couple of weeks out in the sun, you know, and, and you cover it, of course, right? Uh, it, it it is friggin' disgusting. So uh, so anyhow, when they apply it, um, they'll do this. They'll do the same sort of thing that I was talking about with the salt. Uh, you know, like rotten trees. You know, you yeah yeah, you, you put a couple splits in the top and you pour the water to it. Uh, or or, or, or or you dig a you dig a small you dig a small hole in the, a small hole in the ground and pour the and pour the water into it and let it soak soak way 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 down and then put your and then put your carcass uh, your carcass bait up on top. Some guys just simply uh, leave the barrel out there with the uh, with uh, with a bunch of holes poked in the top of it just to attract the bears. All right, so. Now dealing with, uh, with 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 predators, um, what I've used uh, what I've used quite often is uh, is 
is calls, uh, not electronic calls. That's that's illegal in uh, in Alberta. Um, I've used calls, um, uh, live noisy bait. Okay, okay. Some people are going to get on me about this, but you, 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 you get an old an old beat up. Uh, an old beat up rooster or a really old laying hen or something like that and you tie a tie a uh, strong piece of string around around one leg and give them about three or four feet or so and then tie it to a uh, tie the other end to a piece of brush or a fence post and uh, and let them cluck away and and uh, that'll <laughs> that brings the coyotes in believe me <laughs> That's one of the best baits. Um, of course, also using blood and gut piles, okay, for 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 predators. I'm calling coyotes predators. Um, that's the blood and gut piles. You gotta you gotta remember to keep yourself a distance, quite a distance away from them, uh, but because they're well, being predators, they're very very aware and very wary of every uh, of every little change every little change though especially if they've been walking that path a long time they'll go hey that pile's not supposed to be there or that bump isn't supposed to be there they do they really do they're very smart okay so moving along over here try to keep yourself upwind or crosswind when you're approaching your hide or hunting area okay <coughs> um with scent uh, scent, scent can be carried quite a long distance, uh, especially if you're a smoker, by the way. Um, all those, uh, all those descenting sprays, at least everyone I've tried and, uh, and that Under Armour descented, descented stuff, uh, uh, underclothing stuff. And that's, as far as I can tell, that's a pile of crap. It didn't make any difference. Uh, for me anyhow okay some big important ones here breathe okay be relaxed when you're doing this don't put out the predator pheromone okay if you're all keyed up if you're all keyed up or or, or if you're nervous or a little uh, you know some people are a little scared eh? the first timers and stuff you know that you get a little scared you 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 put a, a, a scent pheromone out and, and there's also, uh, some people believe there's a, a kind of a telepathic uh, vibration that is sent out from that too, okay? Make sure, this is a big one, make sure when you take your, when you take down your game that you can get it out, all right? Now, I've seen a few, uh, uh, I'm not going to say the country they're from, uh, I've seen a few hunters uh, uh, out here. They go, uh, you know, they're 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 waiting in their hide for like a moose to come out of the muskeg and blah blah blah, and they want to they want to make the big hero shot at three four hundred yards, and they drop the damn moose, and it disappears in the friggin' muskeg. Now you got to go in and get it, okay? So in a survival or SHTF situation. That's a really stupid move, really stupid. Okay, you're you're <laughs> you're just causing yourself hours of agonizing, hard, hard labor. Okay, you know, like like <laughs> these are big animals, man. <laughs> they're 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 very big. Okay, another little tip here: avoid uh, w w when you're stalking or waiting in your hide, um, or just awaiting that shot. Okay, avoid eye contact or staring at the head of your prey. Every time, every single time that I ever did that, even when I'm looking at them from behind and I, and, 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 and I look at the back of their head for three, four seconds, they turn around and look. Okay, they know, they know when they're being watched. Um, so, so some of you guys out there have experienced that sixth sense with the, uh, hair rising on the back of the neck, someone watching you, okay, it's the same thing with them, and it's even more heightened, okay, and moving along over to here, be patient, okay, be patient, 
and make that first shot count, okay? Uh, far too often, I've, 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 I've seen on television shows or, or, uh, or, or uh, adventure movies and stuff, oh, we'll, we'll follow the, we'll follow the blood trail, uh-huh, yeah? Good luck on that. When you go and stick a when you go and stick an arrow into a bear in the fall, that's been that that's that's got a nice big fat uh, layer la layer of layer of fat on them. You you stick an arrow into them or you shoot them. That fat layer actually drops like this and plugs the wound. There, other than the initial first few feet of 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 blood, you're not gonna get any. Okay, you're not going to get any. And hunting, hunting a, 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 a wounded bear really quickly can very, very quickly turn into, uh, turn into a reverse situation where they are hunting you. Okay, and that is friggin' dangerous, man. Really dangerous. Okay. Um, okay, don't follow, uh, I don't rely on following a blood trail. Okay, big thing here, guys. Is 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 the uh, you can do all the reading, uh, watch all the videos you want, all this stuff. But if you don't go out there, and and exp and and learn through experience, like there 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 there's so much for you to learn how to do. There there's you, you got to learn how to walk. Um, you've got to uh, you've 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 got to learn how to just blend in. Uh, your 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 movements, your attitude, uh, body language, everything, man. It, it, there's so much. There's so much more that uh, to, to to hunting than 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 uh, than just going out there and uh, and blasting away at animals. Okay. All right. That's uh, that's the end of this video here. I'll upload this one, and as soon as it's uploaded, I'll make another, uh, uh, answering a comment on about uh, about the scarcity of uh, of game in a post SHTF environment. Now, when I answer these, when I answer comments, I'm looking at it from my perspective. Okay, so my perspective is going to be far different than someone living in Edmonton or Calgary or New York. Uh, New Orleans, where, wherever. Okay, mine's going to be very different. I, I, I live right at the right on the very edge, the, the 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 southern edge of the northern boreal forest. Okay, so eh, I'll get into population densities and stuff on that video. So it it's it. I have a very different viewpoint on these things than than uh, than people who live in higher uh, higher density of populations and stuff like that okay all right guys you take care and i'll uh talk to you again in a bit bye bye